Okay, here's a little bit of an explanation on how the GDR handcuffs work. Um, they work as a normal swing through handcuff. And in order to apply the double lock, we take the barrel key, put it in, and these are right and left hand handcuff. So these turn opposite ways. Um, the bit of the key, which is that piece right there, is going to turn towards the wrist area on either one of the handcuffs. So we're going to turn it 90 degrees and listen. That click sound is the double lock activating. When that activates, they can't be closed any further. The reason it gets done is we're going to look at the inside ratchet here. That double ratchet, only one of them is actually working and engages until the double lock is put on. And we're going to see if we can actually do this where you can see it. When I turn the key 90 degrees towards the wrist, that second one pops up and that dead locks. Okay, in order to get that off, we have to take the key and turn it uh, a little more than 180 degrees and you can see both ratchets go down. What it'll do is actually clear so that the bow can swing through. That's unlocked, but we have to keep going. And what it does is keeps that double lock moved down out of the way so that the cuffs will work again in single lock mode. Um, if we put the key in and turn it to unlock it right to here and we turn it back, what happens is the double lock stays on and the cuff won't work. I know it sounds kind of complicated the way I've done it on the uh, way I've explained it on the blog, but that's a simple explanation that you need to turn the key 360 degrees to get the lock working again. Same with this one. All the way through and it works. Um, however, there's not a dead stop in this cuff. You've got to kind of hold it right there in order to have it in the unlocked mode. Uh, if you go too far, you just swing past, you're going to have to go back through again. And these are the GDR East German Police Handcuffs.